Hey guys, I'm here at SHOT Show with Josh from MDT. How are you, mate? Freaking great, man. Awesome, man. Awesome. And this is one of the most hotly uh, anticipated products uh, the, expo, uh, the show this year. Tell us all about the uh, ACC Elite. Well, I'm glad to hear that, that everyone's looking for these things. Um, we are so, so excited to have these finally released. We had the early prototype last year at SHOT Show, and a lot of people thought we were actually going to be in production a lot quicker than we were. Um, and from the outside looking in, this looks like a very similar chassis to what we had last year, but basically every single thing has changed. Yeah. Um, and the reason that we delayed it and the reason that we took our time on it is we wanted to make it the best competition chassis on the market. We didn't want to compromise on anything and we didn't want to give up any features that our team wanted. Yep. And we really leveraged our uh, competitive shooting team and said, guys and girls, what do you need? How are you going to win matches and what, what is going to give you the competitive edge? And we went to every single nth degree on this chassis and put it in here. So front to back, uh, this is a Remington 700 inlet. Right now we've got a clone action in here. Uh, it'll fit a standard 700 and then we've got some other inlets coming. Um, we're developing a Tika inlet, so all the Tika shooters will be happy about that. Yes. Left-handed inlet and a long action inlet for the yep. Remington 700. Um, the biggest update on the forehand here is the rigidity. So the ACC Premier was a very strong, very uh, solid chassis, but we felt there was some potential performance increases we could do. Yep. We wanted to make sure that if you ran no forehand weights and you wanted to build a little bit of a lighter comp gun, you still had a really solid, strong platform to build off of. So the rigidity on the forehand has increased exponentially. Yep. It's a very strong, very rigid forehand. It also helps take out some of that twang, some of that little bit of uh, dampening that we built into the material here. Um, we've got some kind of clever things that we've got integrated into the forehand that also help it just resist torsion. So if you've got a bipod in there super tight, you're not going to get all kinds of wander or anything. Yep. It's a very, very solid platform up front. Um, integrated QDs, the integrated RS dovetail all the way back still there as you know, everybody's running that now. Yeah. We've got Arca, the R-lock system on the underside. Okay. So if you're running something that's a heavy recoiling gun, um, RRS has come up with this really ingenious system where they've got these little basically uh, protrusions that go up into mm -hmm. the Arca rail. Yep. So your bipod, your tripod, anything is not going to slide on there. It is freaking solid. We've got the drill and tapped holes all along the forehand and this one's kitted out as a kind of common comp gun. Mm -hmm. um, we've got the patrol bridge on this one, so you can reach up and over your gun. You can grab one of the four and get really good control. Of course, we've got the baker wings here, but if you don't have those, you're not grabbing on your barrel. Um, yeah. All the way through back here, we've also got different night vision bridges that are okay. compatible here. Yep. And the important thing about them is they co-witness with a standard height rail. Yep. No need to switch out to higher rails or lower rails or anything. You just run your standard 700 or your clone and they'll co-witness with a rail on top or you can stack them with a the control bridge, mix and match, do whatever you need to, or run none of them. And they're, and they're this sort of shape, so they'll interchange. Exactly. Yeah, right, that's right. Okay. So we've set it up. Um, the way we designed a lot of these is with a common mounting system the guys are using, 50 sil 56 mil objectives, um, a standard medium height ring, like a 1.34 yep. height ring. It's always gonna clear. Um, yep. And you've still got barrel clearance still for a freaking large barrel. If you wanna run a 1.25 straight or larger, it should still fit in this foreign. And because it's rigid, you're not getting that flex where it's going to contact. QDs are in here as well for some people who want to run slings. Moving back through the middle, this is where we've got some of the cool new features as well. Um, the Magwell has got a little bit taller and a little bit more aggressive than the ACC Premier. We've also got some features in there for tuning. So for a lot of guys wanting to run rimfire actions and 22s, which are notoriously hard to feed, we've got an adjustable mag latch that goes up and down. And you've got... Uh, I can speak in millimeters, this is great. You can go <laughs> up one and a half millimeters and down two and a half millimeters. Yes. So custom actions and rim fires, you can tune your mag latch height to feed perfectly every single time so it's like butter. Yeah, it's awesome. Even if you're running a silly three lug. We've got dowels in the mag magwell as well. So we've got optional polymer dowel inserts you can put in there. Mm -hmm. So if you want to get rid of a little bit of rattle, uh, if you don't want that drop free uh, mag, which some people don't, yep. um, or if you want to fit a undersized polymer magazine to your action, mm -hmm. drop those in there. You can configure your magwell exactly how you feel it's more comfortable. We've got a couple of kind of cool things in here as well. The whole center section's also got more rigid. So again, resisting that torsion, resisting any flex. It's a very, very solid platform. And then we kind of come back in here where we've got the thumb shelves on the side and adjustable grip. Is this, this bit here, there's a, there's a bit there that's grippy, like yep. grip tape. Is that standard? That's it's a little optional extra. Okay. Um, I'm actually not sure what's on this side. Yeah, we've got a little yeah, bit of grip tape. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, the reason we put that on there. Finger to be uh, like height. Exactly. So we ship with uh, one that looks kind of like a hockey stick. Yep. Um, and then we've got the standard little like puck there. And it's optional. You can put it on if you want. But what we're trying to promote is, you know, when shooters are transitioning, especially in the rain, you reach up and you put your finger on there. You never want to slip down into the trigger well, right? Or into that trigger guard. Um, I guess another optional little feature here as well is we've got the slot on the underside. So for most guys running some sort of adjustable trigger that's usually accessible from the underside, yep. you reach up in there and you can actually make the adjustments. Not to spoil things as well, but we've got an electronic trigger and yep. conveniently this also fits the charging cord right through there of as well. It does. Of course. Which it has to, right? <laughs> I love it. So nice. again, kind of moving back and through, all the inletting is basically the same as we've got on all of our chassis. Rock solid, no bedding required, 65 inch pounds, plug and play, you're, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. um, the adjustable thumb shells and adjustable grip are another really critical component of this. Yep. And what we were finding with some of our shooters is they wanted a little bit more purchase on the chassis. They wanted something to kind of really grab onto and get that control. So we've uh, integrated these thumb shelves in here and you've got a, about an inch, 25 millimeters back and forth um, adjustment on the thumb shelves. You can rotate them wherever you want. You can actually take them off and put them on the fore end if you want. And they're MLUC compatible. So you do whatever you want with the thumb shelves, but they give you so much more control of the gun. And then in tandem with that, we've got this adjustable grip as well, which is very similar to our standard Elite grip that we currently make. But this one of course has been modified a little bit because we've now got this integration of the connector bar. So what we were trying to do is allow the shooter to adjust every ergonomic interface that they're going to be holding on to, yeah. to exactly where they want it. That's and again, exciting, yeah. it's one of those things that you can now take your chassis and no matter your body shape, your, the length of your neck, the position of your eyes, uh, the length of your arms, whatever it is, you adjust it to fit you. Mm. Instead of the other way around where you know, you're trying to struggle behind your gun. We wanted it that when you take that shot, everything is just tracking straight. You're seeing yeah. everything, right? So the grip's adjustable back and forth, uh, about a half an inch, 12 millimeters. Mm -hmm. The thumb shelves adjust and, and rotate in, uh, in accordance. And then the connector bar, much like the forehand and the center section, provides that extra level of rigidity. Yeah. It is one of those things that it's not for everybody, and we understand that. So it is modular. I was going to say, that looks like it comes out. As Absolutely. Well. Yeah, right. And this is also still an AR-15 grip post. So okay. if you don't even want to run our grip, that's cool. That's yeah. fine. You can run whatever you want. But if you do want to run this system, um, without the connector bar, we also have a little plug you can just put in there, you th thread in some screws, and then everything's self-contained, just like the ACC Premier. Yeah, right. The buttstock is arguably the coolest part about this chassis for me. Okay. It's the part we spent... the best to last, right? A little bit, yeah. That's yeah. why I go front to yeah. back. Um, <laughs> we spent so much time developing this buttstock. Um, this was probably the part that actually took us a lot of the time and actually delayed us a little bit more than we should have. But, mm -hmm. again, we wanted to make sure it was right. Yeah. Um, so the connector bar, if you're running that in comparison to our standard ACC Premier, you get 10 times the rigidity in your buttstock area. Combining that with the center section and your forend, it feels like you're shooting a different chassis. It's bizarre. So if you shot an ACC Premier a whole bunch and you go to this, it doesn't. It's a different beast. Um, one of the cool things about the forend, is, or sorry, the buttstock as well, is you've got push bucket button, quick adjust uh, for your cheek riser and for your length of pull. So. Just turn it in and out about a, two turns or so, and then you can lock it back down, and this thing is rock solid. It's not gonna move, it's not gonna go anywhere. Same thing with your cheek piece, 25 millimeters back and forth adjustment, and we don't have any side-to-side -side adjustment or cant like we've had in previous generations. And the reason for that is we've actually uh, thinned up this cheek piece as much as we can. So if you're shooting weak side, if you're shooting left hand, um, or if you wanna move your head back and forth sides the chassis, you shouldn't really be ob uh, obstructed. Yeah, not, not in the way at all. Exactly, so it's very similar to our current Elite cheek piece, but it's custom built for this chassis, especially with that front to back movement. Um, one of the kind of sneaky things as well we included in this one, and this was a great suggestion by one of our shooters, is we've put some of the tools that are commonized across the whole chassis under the cheek piece, and we've stuck them in there with magnets. So you... Exactly. So that one there is a T10 Allen key. That does all of your magwell adjustment, and you can lock it all down. This one here is a 1.8, so all of your weights, all of your top fixtures, your Baker wings, any of your accessories that you need to add or move on this chassis, you pretty much do with that one. The only thing you can't do is take off uh, your action, but... Probably, probably don't want to do that. Too. Yeah, you shouldn't be doing that in the field anyway, right? Ideally not. Um, so that kind of takes care of a lot of this. The butt pad itself here, you've got up and down adjustment, left to right adjustment. We do ship with a one inch length of pull spacer or 800 thou um, length of pull spacer. So the standard length of pull at its minimum 
for most actions is about 12 and a half inches. Okay. So that's catering a little bit to smaller shooters, women shooters, kids shooters, um, or people who really, really want that short length of pull to get right up on their gun. And then you go all the way out, and we've got a huge range of length of pull adjustment out past 14 and three quarter length of pull. And you can stack those spacers. So if you're a giraffe and you have a three foot long neck, you just put a couple of those spacers in there, you're good to go. Um, everything's toolless, everything's quick adjust. We try to make it as easy for the user to custom fit things as they need on the fly, but lock it down super tight. So overall, the whole chassis is really built for the shooter, and it's not for everybody, but if you want to go out there and win matches, this is it, man. And you said you had another another version of this decked out somewhere. We, we got one. We can follow us over here. So this is our military law enforcement version of the ACC Elite. This one, of course, is not standard kit. Um, this is some very high-end, very cool things. But that shows off the, the, the beginning rail option down there. Exactly. Yes, so this is a day use scope, and then we've, of course, got the uh, clip-on night vision on this one here. But again, you can see standard rail, co-witnesses perfectly with it. These are inch uh, 150 rings, so the 40 millimeter tall rings. And man, this thing is just a beast. Looks <laughs> like it. I want to take this home so bad, but I'm not allowed to. It's not fair. <laughs> So we've also got some other cool accessories. Of course, with the control bridges and night vision bridges we developed, um, we've also you know, put some time into this rubber dampeners, yeah. which we know people have been asking for, and we feel so bad that they haven't been released. But all I can tell you, unfortunately, is production issues. Yeah, um, okay. It's been such a pain, but I promise they're coming out really, really soon. Um, of course, things like the comp brake work great on these. You can switch out for different cheek pieces if you want, switch out for different grips if you want. Um, you really try to make this the so chassis. Fun fundamentally, this is the same chassis as what we looked at over there, yep. just with a couple of bits on it that are exactly. different. Yep. Yeah. But the whole system, right, we try to develop a whole chassis system that depending on what your end use is, it covers all the bases. Yeah, you can make it fit to what you need it to do. Exactly. Awesome, Josh. No worries, man. Good to see you again. Absolutely. Awesome to see this one. Pretty, uh, pretty sweet, guys. Let us know what you think and uh, how many of these you'll be buying.